Hello, welcome back to the Bond Life Society. Today, we're venturing into The Man with the Golden Gun, the ninth installment in the James Bond series. Released in 1974, this film sees Roger Moore reprising his role as 007 and takes us on a thrilling journey filled with intrigue, danger, and the iconic villain, Francisco Scaramanga. As the 1970s unfold, The Man with the Golden Gun presents Roger Moore's Bond with a new adversary in the form of Francisco Scaramanga, played by the legendary Christopher Lee, directed by Guy Hamilton. The film brings us into the world of international espionage, solar energy, and a high-stakes game of cat and mouse. Bond is on a mission to retrieve a device that can harness solar energy, a technology that could revolutionize the world. Standing in his way is the enigmatic and deadly Scaramanga, known as the man with the golden gun. Along the journey, Bond encounters the captivating Mary Goodnight, played by Britt Eklund, and faces off against a villain with a personal vendetta. Roger Moore continues to embody the role of James Bond in The Man with the Golden Gun. Moore's portrayal brings a suave sophistication and a touch of humor to the character, creating a bond that resonates with audiences. From the gravity-defying car jump over a river to the tense duel between Bond and Scaramanga in the funhouse, the man with the golden gun delivers iconic moments that showcase the film's action-packed sequences. The dynamic between Bond and Scaramanga adds a layer of complexity to the story, making it a standout entry in the Bond series. Guy Hamilton's direction and John Barry's score contribute to the film's cinematic flair. The exotic locations, from the bustling streets of Bangkok to the lush landscapes of Thailand, create a visually stunning experience. The film's musical themes, including Lulu's memorable title song, add to the overall ambience. The Man with the Golden Gun remains a notable entry in the Bond legacy, not only for its action-packed sequences but also for the charismatic performance of Christopher Lee as Scaramanga. The film's success at the box office and its enduring popularity contribute to its place in the 007 canon. As we conclude our exploration of The Man with the Golden Gun, we've witnessed Roger Moore's Bond facing off against one of the most iconic villains in the series. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe for more Bond-centric content on the Bond Life Society. Until next time, remember, it's not just a movie, it's a lifestyle.